back to my channel it is me Ian here and I'm currently inside the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region Museum and it's a fantastic museum located in Urumqi, Xinjiang in China. It's one of the largest museums in this region, it's very comprehensive, the museum covers a huge area, it's about 7,800 square metres, over 50,000 items in its collection and the building itself is designed in a and a traditional Uyghur style with beautiful internal decor featuring sort of stone, strong ethnic elements and so on. The museum does have a wide variety of exhibits, costumes, tools, everyday necessities, cultural relics, everything from different dynasties and different times in history. Overall, the museum is considered a must-see destination for anyone interested in history and the culture of Xinjiang and obviously the Silk Road. It is huge and I'm actually lost. I've taken some time to sit in this rather cool reading area, take a break, get old now, but I'm going to head back in and look for some more information on the Silk Road because I'm really interested in that period of time. still inside the museum and I'm totally lost and I think I'm also out of sync, out of order with the exhibition halls. I don't know if you're supposed to do them in order but if you are then that means I'm missing half of the story but then a lot of the displays are actually in Chinese so I don't fully understand them. What I do have to do is take a photograph and then look at the photograph, highlight and then rely on the phone to give me the translation which does throw up some odd translations, to be fair. That said, it is a miracle of modern day that we can do that, but it does mean that it takes me a bit of time to go around the various halls. There are 13 halls in total. I think I'm at number 12 or number 11, more, more of the less important ones, but I've been here since 10.30 this morning. It's now coming up for one o'clock. They do say that you need to allow for about three hours to fully appreciate museum and that is with an English speaking guide. I'm going to go back and quickly check to see if there's anything of interest that I've missed and after that I'm going to go see something else I wanted to have a, a look at. I think it's down near the, the financial district. It is quite warm outside, the sun's up, it's about 19 degrees or so. So I'm going to head off soon. finishing up in this museum with an iced coffee. I do have the feeling that I've missed something in the museum, but then I'm always like that when I visit a museum in China, partly because they're so huge, partly because the information is often in Chinese with some English representation. Again, my ignorance is I can't read or speak Chinese that well, and partly because I'm a typical guy and I don't do the research before I go to the museum. I turn up and expect to find stuff you know, that guy thing where we don't follow the instructions and then wonder why the thing that we are working on and building isn't quite right. That's me. This guy. Anyway, I'm heading off now. Follow me. I'll show you some more Xinjiang. Don't you?
If you've been following along, then you have joined me here now from Xinjiang Museum, where I was at this morning, which was excellent. And it did get me thinking a lot. And I ended up going for a, a wander and kind of got lost again, which seems to be the theme for today. Anyway, after getting lost, I decided to jump into a taxi and come to see what, what the people living in Urumqi, the city of Urumqi where I am, to see what the people are like and how they're living. And the best way to do that is to go to the People's Park. Now, in China, in every city I have ever been in, there is always a People's Park. Amongst many other parks and recreational areas, there is always a People's Park. One thing, in my opinion, China does exceedingly well, and probably every bit as good as Japan, is parks. In this park, Yurumchi People's Park, is no exception. I do think though I've come at a time where the, the greenery and the shrubbery is still not in full bloom so the park does have a, a winter feel about it. It even feels kind of, you know, a bit grubby, um, even though the weather's good. But the park is heaving with people. I mean, it's full of people doing various things, singing, dancing, playing musical instruments, sports, ping pong, gambling, mahjong, you name it. People seem happy. When I was coming here, the taxi driver and I managed to have a discussion about football, soccer. And I never feel right calling it soccer. Anyway, we talked about football, Beijing, and I think he told me to go to Xi'an and see the Warriors. And when I told him I'd been, he was super excited. It was kind of broken conversation. But I got a feeling that he was from Xi'an, I'm not sure. Anyway, the park is full of people doing stuff. But for anyone that's been to China, been in a park in China, then you know exactly what I mean. The one thing that I've noticed here though is that the groups of people are elderly and most likely they are retired. The retirement age here in China is I believe 60 and I think it used to be 55 for women and also 55 for blue collar workers. Um, it may have changed but I, I, I vaguely remember that and imagine that retirement based on how difficult your job was on your physical body. For me, that seems like a good idea. Anyway, everyone in the park seemed to be having a rare old time to themselves, and they were constantly breaking into sing song. I'm not sure what they were singing, but it sounded great, and they were all getting right into it. So, yeah, you can't beat that good old sing song in the park. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I'll need to remember is that the sun sets here later than what it does in Beijing. It actually sets here just before 9 p.m. So I'll need to remember that. That's a challenge sometimes because if you want to get some recording and done at the evening, chipmunks everywhere here, squirrels and chipmunks. If you want to get recording in the evening, then obviously you have to be out quite late. I'm not going to do that this evening. I'm going to do that possibly tomorrow or Thursday. Yesterday when I arrived, I spent the day just or well, the evening, just in and around the local area and shopping malls and stuff, doing a, a typical day that felt like being back in Beijing, even ate hot pot. Stupid, should I ate some kebab apparently. Today, I thought I'd go to the museum, start to get a feel for the city, went to the People's Park where I am now, and I'll probably wander around a little bit more and get maybe some meat to eat. Tomorrow, looking forward to that, super exciting. I'm going to the Heavenly Park, no, I'm going to the Heavenly Lake, which is a way up in the park. It's about 100 kilometres, 110 kilometres from the city. I'm going to go there. Then, in the evening, I'm going to go to the bazaar here, the market, which I'm really excited about. It's very traditional, very traditional, and it's uh, kind of the reason why I wanted to come here. I'm savouring it, waiting for the, the best day to do it tomorrow. Then on Thursday, I'll probably do something similar to that, go really traditional. Anyway, this has been me here in Yurimchi so far. Might come back to you in a minute, finish up this video.
crazy that there was in the, in the main square there was like three different groups of dancers they were i think competing with each other it was getting louder and louder the dancing was amazing the atmosphere was fantastic the beat was great i just yeah I, I do like this city i do really like this city it's got a kind of beat to it a really funky beat i know that sounds kind of weird funky beat but yeah and i'm taking it it's from the traditional music which you can hear everywhere you go <laughs> Sticking with the theme of today, getting lost. I'm actually trying to get a park up to a park on the other side of where I am now, so I'm going to have to go back up this way and then over a bridge area, I think, and then back into a park which is next to the park I was in and get up and have a look at uh, what I think is a maybe a nice temple and a, a nice uh, large Buddha. So I'm heading that way, hopefully, if I don't get lost. <laughs> <laughs> and I need some water and food. So I've seen a place up on a, on a hill, it looks like a temple, and I want to get there, but it looks like everything is all fenced off. It might actually be closed for some renovations, similar to the, the park back there. It looks like they were doing a lot of work on it. So I'll keep walking, see if I can get in. If not, maybe just head for some food. I can see where I want to be. I want to be on the other side of that fence, but I can't seem to find a way through there. I'll keep walking, see if I can get myself up into this temple that I'm curious about seeing. Hi. So I can see some green park fence as well. Hopefully I can get in up here maybe somewhere. Hopefully I can get there before it closes. So I can see that there's people in there, so it's definitely open. Then when I get in, I'm going to have to walk up that hill. Hard things I do for this, but I love it. It's good fun. Gets me out, gets me exploring. Curious minds explore. Hi. I am definitely getting closer to where I want to be, I think. <laughs>
Yeah, so I made it. Made it. Great view. So glad I decided to do this. Tired, thirsty, going ahead and going to get some food. This is in here in Urumqi, Xinjiang. Loving this city. It's got lots of beat, lots of vibe. Great people. People keep talking to me. It's a great place. Love it. Now time for some food and maybe a wee beer. Take care of yourself, your family, your community and as always, Port. peace out. I was going to leave before I got up there. No, nah, not me. Too curious for that. I got there. You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Yeah. I'll be the best above all the rest. But